source is very interesting. I think it's a Harris Voltaire horse. I mean, I've had I've had decent luck with these in the past. They've always colours that have always ran quite well for me. They've always sort of ran to their level, which I'm hoping this one does. Because if it does, it'd be decent. Make Me King is the name of the horse by Dark Angel, a, st a stallion that's really coming into my thinking a hell of a lot more recently than it did three years ago when I first started this project. You'll see that this one has actually been beaten on its first start by a horse of the Aga Khans that we're going to pass on, but it is one two out of two, at two. I'm going to pass on it though, because I've had a look at it and I think we could we could let that one go round and if it beats us, it beats us. We can't be on them all. This one here, Make Me King, I think if people take a look at it, they'll see that the pedigree again is uh, is quite interesting. Maybe not as interesting at first glance as people will see. There's no really real obvious ones here on line 8H. The dam, Miss Infinity, that was a Group 2 and Group 3 place listed winner. She is a half-sister to, to the 2014 Group 1 pre morning winner and former stallion, the Whale Signal. Unfortunately died after uh, following only one, one or two crops. And also the Japanese Group 1 and Group 1 placed Group 3 winner, Unicorn Lion. The Unraced Second Dam is a half-sister to a dual Group 3 placed listed winner and also a Grade 2 placed hurdler called uh, Toll Puddle. The third dam, Tabdia, well, she is a Group 2 place listed winner. And she's also a half sister to the 1996 French 1000 Guineas winner, Tari. The sixth dam, well, she is a half sister to a dual Group 1 placed, including the 1981 French 1000 Guineas dual Group 2 and Group 3 winner, Cresta Rider. The sixth dam, in case anyone is a uh, Trying to, trying to remember the name of these ancient dams to use in their own uh, thinking is Thoroughly Blue. Here's the seventh dam. It's the sixth dam, sorry. The ninth dam, Lost Horizon. Well, she's a half sister to the 1941 US Triple Crown winner, Whirl Away. So that's two we've got on this line now. We think, I think Whirl Away is also related to the horse I like in the States. 10th dam dust whirl she i think was the dam of whirl away and she is also the fifth dam of the 1982 belmont winner and the u.s horse of the year called uh conquistador cielo you know so it's a very interesting pedigree i think this horse it's one that could slip easily slip under the radar with uh, with connections like they are with the, the old voltaire horses i'm gonna i'm gonna chance this one it's my own choice of which horses I chance and which ones I don't you know, and I'm hoping that this one can can surprise a few people but people just need to bear in mind that if it does it won't have surprised me let's take a look at it win anyway on the 9th of September at San Clu it's on red going into stall at number nine so it's a mile, 1,600 metres they're racing over here as they get away uh, no cure, no pay very slow into stride and is right at the back of the field as Sanson is possibly going to go through and lead him here in the blue and white striped jacket. Off to the left is Gypsy Chief. Um, it's uh, in second position. Royal Shake is next. White spots on black and behind this is Nolito. Make Me King in a red and white jacket is then followed by Bergano in green and blue colours and Zoyrik is next in light blue. Symbol in red colours is the far side of that and probably going past it now and no cure, no pay is two lengths behind these. Sanson at the end of the back shape. Well, having a nice legendary to stroll Gypsy round here, Chief, isn't he? Who runs in second and Royal Shake is a half length behind this in third. Make Me King is around the outside getting closer in fourth position, moving ahead of Nolito in the blue jacket, the red and white on the sleeves. Symbol in red is alongside Bergano in green and blue. Zoyrik in light blue is ridden along. And uh, No Cure, No Pay has caught the others, but is yet to move out of last place. They're levelling up for home. And Sanson on the right continues to lead, although Gypsy Chief 
is along, almost alongside, now being brought through with its challenge. Uh, behind these is Make Me King, the red and white jacket moving through to challenge for the lead now. Gypsy Chief, the leader to Make Me King. Sanson behind these. Royal Shake is next. They're heading down to the closing stages. Make Me King in the red and white jacket. The near side of Gypsy Chief as they race towards the line. And it is Make Me King who wins today. Gypsy Chief was in second and Royal Shake in third place. And they are followed in by Sanson and then Nolito. Mikael Barcelona brings number four, Make Me King, to win. I mean, if people look at it, people look at that run in isolation. I think they needed a faster pace for it to really be a conclusive race. But it won well. It knuckled down and won well. But where that tells us what the other ability of the horse, it doesn't really, does it? I mean, people will see that we're on, if we go, look, there's other horses. There's Tarib and Whirl Away, the horses we were talking about. And uh, Conquistador Cielo as well. Yeah, there's a few of the others that we were talking about. Lost Horizon and, and all them. People look at 8H. Well, see, there's another one that's quite recent compared to some of them. 1878 is only 40 or 50 years before La Troyenne. And they'll see that this one is, is a game, really. Apart from the odd classic horse there, look, the Japanese winner. And you've got horses down here that have won Italian oaks and French guineas. Oh, a motivator right down the bottom, look. So, again, you see this is more of an outcross line, really, than, than one that's really been hammered. That's not a bad bit. If we can get on there, look, with Zilzal. I think we might be on there somewhere. And uh, Polish precedent as well. An intercab, that was a decent enough stallion, its own right. So there is there is some interesting horses on this little section. There's our section there. Yeah, we just wish there was a little bit more than the current day. We can trace it back well enough nearly 100 years ago, classic winners, but the first couple of dams were, group, were pattern horses um, and have also related to Group 1 winners. You know, there's the the third dam is related to a classic winner. There's classic winners in the in the back of it. So we'll have to wait and see with this one, really. I'd say out of the three we've looked at so far, this is probably the uh, riskiest one we've looked at so far. 